One in five people in the UK suffer from depression. 5,219 suicides were registered in 2021 alone, two thirds of those male and a third female. 27% of all male deaths between the age of 20 and 35 are suicide. With ongoing living crisis and the stresses of work and life in general, what can people do to stop themselves becoming another statistic? My favourite sport is football. My dad and my friends got me into it. I support Man United, my dad supports Man United. It's not that deep, that's the only reason why. And obviously you've got to support your local, which is South End. My first memory in sport was not being good enough to play with my friends on my primary school football team. That really upset me. And I lost interest in playing any sports for a long time until I got to secondary school and my new friends, I played sports with them, I improved and now I enjoy it. I used to play just for fun, but now it's more like staying in touch with people. I don't see as often because we're all grown up now. I used to see my friends every Monday for football. It's a good way of staying in touch and doing something we all enjoy. In regards to my mental health, football is a good excuse for me to get out with my friends a lot. It gives us a sense of routine where we haven't been at school for a long time now. We're all busy with our own lives, etc. It gives us a good platform to see each other often. Playing football every Monday sets up my week quite well normally. So if I win, I'll enjoy the rest of my week. It is the focal point of my week. Mental health services are inundated and cannot provide the care, treatment or attention that the majority of people need. Mental health struggles are faceless and something that is not recognisable. Anyone can experience mental health problems, regardless of their gender, age, ethnicity, class or upbringing. Yeah, um, until a couple of years ago when I retired, I was a mental health nurse for about 36 years. Um, also, since the age of 18, I've had um, a mental health problem, long-standing mental health problem, um, for which I have to take medication every day. Well, I played sport um, during my teenage years and my early adult life, uh, mainly badminton and squash. I played badminton in the local league um, and at university. And at the time, it was an important part of my life. I have very fond memories of playing badminton and squash with my sister. My dad was an all-round good sportsman who, um, with my mum, encouraged myself and my sister to take up sport. Playing in sport um, helped me in lots of ways, really. Keep fairly slim, keep the weight down, um, it was a challenge playing. I very much enjoyed playing the game and also socialising with other players. Once I'd played badminton, I felt more able to be active in other areas of my life. When I married and had two children, I was working full time, but I didn't really have the time or the energy to play much sport. So I had a break from it for quite a few years. And did you ever take it up again? Well, after my retirement from work um, recently, I joined the gym. I signed up at the gym 
and um, I've been going there quite regularly or fairly regularly for a while now. And has this helped again? Yes, it has. It's helped um, my mental health quite a lot. It um, has helped my mood again um, so that I feel better in myself. It distracts me so that I don't worry about everything all the time. I get a good feeling at the end of a session at the gym and presumably because of the, the endorphins being released and cutting in um, so that for the rest of the day I can get on with my life, I can be active and feel good. Studies show that physical activity helps with alleviating stress, promoting a boost in self-esteem and improving mood. With examples of team sports and gym facilities, the main outcome noticeable is a sense of togetherness. I think my first memory of playing sport was um, my dad teaching me how to play rugby in the garden whenever the uh, weather was nice. Yeah, I would say um, going to university, I was really anxious before I actually went. Um, I was quite worried that, like, what if I don't meet anyone? What if there's no one who's like me at uni? Um, but then when I first went to university, I joined rugby and then straight away instantly had a huge group of people who all had similar interests to you. And it really kind of immediately relieved that anxiety because there was people with a similar mindset to me. I think my only regret with sport that I've had is not knowing when to stop because I've, I've dealt with a few big concussions, a few big head injuries playing rugby. And I wish that I could go back to my younger self and say, all right, maybe park it for a few months rather than just carry on. Um, but apart from that, I don't have any regrets. I love playing sport. Uh, regarding if sport was taken away from my life, there have certainly been a lot of times where I've gotten injured and then I've I've had to kind of stop for a couple of weeks or months, like if I've broken my hand or things like that. And then I kind of move more towards the gym and I will just work out something else. Like I always try and find something else that I can work on um, to get better at something all of the time. <laughs>